Stop! Look! Listen! It's time for the Jack LaLanne Show from Hollywood. Starring the world-famous nutritionist, author, lecturer, and physical culture expert on your figure in beauty. And now, here is a man who will show you how to feel better, look better, Jack LaLanne. Good morning, and a happy Monday morning to you. I hope you had a pleasant weekend. Hey, who do I see there? My boys and girls, my little helpers, kitties. Wherever Mother is, you go run and get her, and you tell Mother, you say, Mother, it's Monday, and Jack LaLanne is waiting. Go get her. Come on. That's what I want. Good. Hey, look who we have here. Happy? What are you going to do today? You want to go play? Okay. Bye-bye. What do I see? Please keep the dial right where it is. I see we have some new students. And what do I see? I see a lot of these students are suffering from hangovers. Well, I guess you had a kind of a rough weekend, huh? I'm going to show you what to do about that old hangover. You know what I want you to do? Get up on your feet. Give me a big smile. Now, look, the first little move we're going to do, I want you to reach down to the floor, then reach up to the ceiling. Oh, before we get going, I'd like to clarify myself. I'm not talking about the hangover, the kind that you get from overindulgence. I'm talking about the kind you get from lack of exercise and eating too much of the wrong foods. You know, you're hanging here and hanging here and everything's hanging. That's the kind of hangover I'm talking about. And I'm going to show you how to firm up, how to get rid of the old hangover. Does that make sense? Okay, now, remember I told you the first movement? Reach down to the floor, then reach overhead. Now, let's go. We're going to get the old blood circulating and forget your worries and cares because we have so many wonderful things for you today and for the rest of this week. All right, let's go. Down to the floor, begin. One, two, down. Reach up to the ceiling and down to the floor. And up and down. Down, hand up and 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 down, once more, down and rest. Inhale, exhale. Let's make this 100% participation. I don't want anybody sitting. If for some reason you're unfortunate and you're in a wheelchair or maybe in a hospital, try to do what you can. Please, let's, let's have everybody trying to do the best they can. And I promise you that you are going to feel and look 100% better. Come on, will you do it? Go along with me. I know you're busy this Monday morning, but put down all the rest of the work you have to do because this is so important. I hope you have your chair handy. Now I want you to take your chair and we're going to do something to get rid of the old hanging midsection. And a lot of you girls who don't have a weight problem, you're still kind of hangy here, huh? Hang on to your chair. Now we're going to try and do this. Bring your body down to your knee and your knee up to your body. If we're going to shrink this down, students, we're going to have to contract right here. And the only way we can do that, student, is doing this. Now, try and force that knee right to your shoulder and force the shoulder down to the knee. You ready? We're going to stick with this leg about five or six times, then we'll shift to the other leg. Ready? Begin. One, two. Drive it right through. Come on now. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and one, and two, and... Now hold it up this time. Hold it up. Hold it tight, 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 tight. Ah. You felt that right there, didn't you? Now let's work the other leg, Red. He began. One, two, three, four. Up we go, down we go, up and down, and in and out. And one, and two, and three, and four. Four. All right, next one, hold it up, hold it up, hold it tight, 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 hold it, hold it, tight. Wow, that took care of the old hanging over here. Now we're going to do something to firm up the old hips here. You students kept writing me letters. Jack, I want something more for the hips, for the hips, for the hips. Okay, for you hippie ones, here you are. Hang on to your chair. Extend your leg up as high as you can. This is the good old standard. Ready, begin. One, two, and three, and four, and higher, and two, and three, and four, and up and down, and one. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Pardon me, David. Look at Students, see, some of you are moving your body around. Keep your body fixed. Keep it horizontal to the floor, and the only thing that moves is your leg. Don't swing it, lift it, and leg stiff. Point your toe. Ready, begin. One. That's it. And two. And three, and one, and two, and up we go, down we go, one, and two, once more, and rest. Inhale, exhale, now the leg begin. One, two, three, four, one, two, higher, one, you're bending that leg a little bit, dear, that's better, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, once more, and rest. Hey, there we go, inhale. Blow it out. Ah, now how about the old hangover here that you get? That old pad of fat 
And I'll show you what to do for that. Hang on to your chair. Put your hand right on your side. Extend your leg right out here. Remember, not to the front, not to the back, directly to the side. And go up as high as you can till the joint won't permit you to go up any higher. Now let's concentrate. Let's think. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two. You got any ideas? Oh, better one? Higher than one, two, up and down, and one, two, three, four, out, two, and rest, one, two. All right, other side. Here we go. Isn't this the way to start out the old day? Oh, boy. Begin. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, out we go, in we go, one and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and rest, one, two, ho, oh, inhale, exhale, spread your feet apart. You know what I want you to do? Like this. And go to little jumps, just about like that. This is excellent, students, for the thighs, and it's good for the hips, and it's good to improve your reflexes and your coordination. It actually helps to make you younger, helps to keep these old blood vessels elastic. Here is a wonderful Monday morning picker upper. All right, we're going to do a little hopping. Begin. One, two, three. That's it. Don't bend those legs too much, just a little bit. One, two, three. Isn't that fun? Two, three. One, two, three, four, and rest. One, two, ho, oh, inhale, blow it out, inhale again, let me hear it. After that one, you'd like to sit down, wouldn't you? Okay, why don't you sit down and uh, rest for just a second. Come on, take another deep breath, inhale, blow it out, inhale again, let me hear it. Hey, here's a great one for the whole tummy, and it's good for out here, and it's good for the thigh, too. Put your foot out in front of you and make a circle. Begin, round, round, and round. And round, and round, and round, and round, and round. A little higher and more out the side. That's it. And round, reverse. Round, and round, and round, and rest. Other leg, ready, begin. Round, and round, and round, and round, and round, and round, and round. Reverse. Round, round, and round, and round, and round. Now, you beginners, you forget this movement. I just want you to sit and rest. Take a deep breath. Exhale. You advanced students, put both feet out together like this and make a circle. Go around. Talk about getting rid of the old hanging stomach and thighs and hips. Reverse. Round. Round. Don't stop. Round. And round. And round. And rest. Very, very good. Inhale. Blow it out. Inhale. You know, I want you to promise me right now, you're not going to miss one day this week. I want you to be with me every day, and by the end of the week, you are going to be feeling and looking so much better. That I promise. And you need a lot of breath, aren't you? Okay. While you're catching your breath, you sit down right where you are, because I have something of great importance to uh, tell you about. Listen carefully. You know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to give you a couple of controlled movements. You know, in, in gymnastics or in dancing, they do a lot of controlled movements. Students, that's why the, the gymnasts and the dancers, they have beautiful proportioned bodies. They're youthful, they're agile, and they're vigorous. So the first move we're going to do is something that's going to be sensational for every part of your body, but especially the midsection. We're going to do this. First, put one foot in front of you like this, hands out to the side. Then we're going to let the leg go to the back, and we're going to do this. Now, some of you beginners, you know you have a little trouble. You just kind of hang onto the chair a little bit and go right along with us. Now, but you advanced students, don't touch the chair. Ready? Front first. Begin slowly. Front. Back. Front. Way up. And back. Lean, lean forward. There we go. Front. Don't lose the balance. That's it. Keep watching me. There we are. How do you like this? This is fun. Come on now. Don't lose your balance. It's a game. How back. Hold it. That's enough. Inhale. Blow it out. Have a little contest with yourself every day. You know, see how many times you can do it without losing your balance. And believe me, in a short while, you're going to be firming up all over and you're going to feel more alive. Now let's do the other leg. Front first, begin. One, two. That's it. Lean back a little bit. That's it. Whoa. There we go. That's it. Don't stop. Front. Let's get your waist when you do this. Now when you let your leg go to the back, you're getting the old hips, the old back torch. Whoop, that's it, don't lose it. Front, that's it, keep looking at me. Front, hold it a moment. 
back and hold it. Link way up, hold it. Excellent. See that? Now, let's alternate. We'll do first the right leg, then the left leg. Now, let's go together with the right leg first and begin. One, two, three, four, one, two. All right, right leg. Whoa, that's it. Hold it. Now the right leg again. Hold it up and back. Now the old left leg. Hold it up and back and rest. That's enough. Inhale. Now you beginners, you just sit and rest. Now, my advanced students, I would like to have you do this a little more rapidly. Let's get a little pep into it and let's see what happens, huh? Right side first, begin. One, two, three, four, right, back, two, and three, four, and sit, and one, and two, three, and four, and rest. That's enough? Very good. That was fine. Now, here comes the sticker. We are going to do it exceptionally slow. Slow it right down. Oh, this is a wonderful one. Get the members of your family to do it tonight when they come home. Well, you have a lot of fun. All right, slow now. Right leg first, begin. Slow, slowly, that's it. If you lose your balance, laugh at yourself. That's the way. <laughs> I'm going to lose mine any moment here. That's it. Foot up, 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 up. Slow. Oh, boy, this is going to get you working. That's it. Slow. Ah, the other leg. Come on now. Up slow. Hold it. Whoop. <laughs> I nearly went then. Hold it. Hold it. That's it. Other leg. Come on now. Hold it up, 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 higher, 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 higher. That's the way. Hold it. And rest. Inhale. Roll it out. Inhale again. That's fine. Hey, we're having a lot of fun this morning, aren't we? Thanks for letting me come into your home. If you're new viewers now, remember, we have a date every day. Just don't put it off now. This is too important. Hey, how about those old hands? Keep them right in here close to you and just move them fast and watch them work. Begin. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. You have aches and pains in your hands? They look older than they should? Try this. That's it. Now, palms down. One, two, palms up. One, two, three, fast now, fast, 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 and rest. Ho! Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them good, shake them, shake them, shake them. That's it. Now we're going to do something for the feet. You notice the secret, students, I've told you many times, you get the blood in any particular part, that part is going to be better. You're going to keep it alive, more youthful. So we can't neglect, we have to work every part of the body. Now, do something for the feet. Turn your toes out. That's it. Now rise up on your toes, down on your heels. This is also what's going to give you a beautiful lower leg. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Up we go, down we go. One and two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And rest. One, two. You beginners, you quit. You advanced students, do it on one foot. On your right foot, ready, begin. One, two. Hang on to your chair. Three, four. One, two, three. Other leg. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four, now pigeon toe together, everybody. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and rest. One, two, ho, oh, inhale, exhale, inhale, let me hear it. Big, come on, let me hear it. More air, more air, exhale, that's fine. All right, you deserve a little breather. Hey, we're going along so great today. May I have a chat with you for just a moment? You make yourself comfortable. You know, do you ever stop to think that you are not one person, that you are really two people? You have a dual personality. You know that? As we go through life, you know, we all have good in us. We all have bad in us. Now, what you are, it's going to depend how much of the good comes out or how much of the bad comes out. Do you ever stop to think about this? You know... We're like children in a way. When you send a child to school, the professor grades him. If he does something wrong, he's always being corrected. He's being helped. Somebody kind of helps him along. But with you, an adult, what happens to you? There's nobody there to kind of slap your wrist and to put you in your place. So there's nobody to encourage you along. So you get into a lot of bad habits. From the time you get up in the morning till the time you go to bed at light, night, you are subjected to all kinds of temptation. You know in your heart 
what's right and what's wrong, don't you? You know that this body of yours needs a certain amount of exercise, it needs a certain amount of proper nutrition, you have to get your vitamins and your protein and your rest, and, and positive thinking helps. We know all this, but so many of you, you've got in the bad habit of taking the path of least resistance, so you get yourself in, in a horrible condition, so far as your health and your body is concerned. But we can reverse all this. I want to tell you how. You know, when you get up in the morning, well, you know there's certain things you should do. There, you, you should have an adequate breakfast, a good adequate breakfast. But you have another voice inside of you saying, oh, look, you're too busy now and you're not hungry. Why well, have a, a good adequate breakfast? You just have your cigarette and your coffee and that's good enough. But you and your heart know that this body needs something more than a, than a cigarette and a cup of coffee to keep it going. But you just kind of, uh, you don't listen to that voice. You listen to the other voice telling you, okay, forget about the breakfast. Then in the middle of the day, what happens? You're kind of hungry for something and you, you have these hunger pangs and your energy is a little low. So uh, what do you do? You, this voice says, boy, what you need is a piece of candy. And you look around, you know, and so you kind of go and you get your piece of candy and you chew it up and, and you know in your heart you shouldn't be having that candy because you, you have too many extra pounds on you now. And that goes on all through the day. You know, you have a little sliver of cake here and a little bit of this over here. And then in the morning when our little get-together comes on, you know, you say to yourself, oh, I can't exercise today. And, and that old devil or whoever it is that keeps prodding you, he, he keeps over in this air. He says, look, you can't exercise today. Remember, you have children, you got too much work to do or you're too tired today. Forget it today. Because the old devil, he knows if he miss one day, then it's going to be easier to miss another day. And before you know it, you're out of the habit completely. Isn't that correct? Sure it is. So you have to keep fighting this old monster, this old devil. You say, go away, because you know what's good for you and what isn't good for you. Because, students, if you yield to temptation once, it's easier the next time, and the next time it's a little easier, then he's got you. But every time you do the right thing, you keep doing it and doing it and do it pretty soon, you're not going to be able to do the wrong thing. And you know what? Speaking about this temptation, this old devil that's always prodding us and trying to get us to do the wrong thing, remember that you have somebody with you 24 hours a day that wants to help you. That great physician above, when temptation gets too great, you ask him for help to give you the intestinal fortitude and the willpower to do the right things. Will you do that and see if it doesn't work? Okay. The first one we're going to do, students, is something to tighten up to get rid of the old hangover. You know the hanging chest muscles that some of you girls have. We're going to do something to firm this up, to give you the support that you need. All right. Take your hands out to the side like this, quite wide with the elbows back. Then cross one arm over the other. You notice I have my elbows bent now. Keep them hooked and begin. One, two, and three. Feel that pull those chest muscles. One, two, over a little farther. Go as far as you can, then go a little more. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three. Now hold your hands here. Hold it here, students. Now go a little farther, farther, over more. Ah. Listen, did you feel that? See, now you're concentrating, you're thinking. Let's do it again now, same thing. Hold it tight, tight, more, tight, tight, tight. Oh, wow. If that doesn't work, believe me. Woo! All right, what else? You're talking about hangovers, you know? How about these chins in your neck? And everything starts to hang, doesn't it? We're going to get that old chin and neck right up where it should be. And here's an excellent one. Put your head down on the floor and put your chin on your chest. But when you're doing this, I want you to open your mouth as wide as you can. Exaggerate. Do this now. Echo. One, two, three, up. Feel the pull right here. Keep going. Open that mouth wider. And chin in your chest and down. Hunt. Hey. Hi. Hunt. Don't stop. Oh, wow. Now let's put these two together. And you have a wonderful combination from here up. I'll show you how it's done first, like this. Begin. One, two, three, four. Hunt. Two and three and four and hun and two and three and four and hun and two and three. That's enough. Fine. Now, speaking about firming things up, getting this peak contraction that we want, we're going to do something for the waistline. Here's what I want you to do now. You beginners, you pull one knee into your chest as high as you can, then the other knee. But you advanced students, bring both knees in as tight as you can. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, one. And two. Now hold it in this time. Grab your knees tight, tight. Bring your knees all the way in. Tight. Head up. Now out. Put your head on the floor. Relax completely. Whew. Inhale. Slow down. Inhale again. Let me hear. Whew. Relax a little more. Whew. Boy, have we done it today. This is it. You're getting so much better. Now let's put all of these movements together. The one for the neck and the chin, the one for the chest muscles that's going to help you have a better bust line, and the one for the old midsection. I'll demonstrate first. Like this. 
Now, you beginners, you just do a couple of them and you rest, because this is a little too uh, advanced for you right now. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three. That's enough. Hold it. Notice we've done everything to contract, to bring everything forward. Now we're going to reverse the process. We're going to lie on our stomach. You want a relaxing position. Put your hands on in front of you. Lift your head up. Arch up and down. Begin. One, two, three, four, and up and down. That's enough. Now lift your leg up. You want Here's a marvelous one <clears throat> to firm up back here. Like this. Begin. Two, three, four, one, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and rest. One, two. Okay, up on your feet. Let's go. Let's see it. Come on. Here we go a little faster. Up, up, up. Inhale. Go down. You know, I'm afraid that some of you new viewers see us doing some of these little advanced movements. You get discouraged. Please don't get discouraged. Because if these movements are a little difficult for you this morning, remember, tomorrow they'll be much easier, and after th several days have passed, you're just going to be sailing right through them, and every movement you do will be fun. But please, don't get discouraged. You fight that old man temptation. Sit yourself down. Have a little talk with yourself, because this is the thing to do, and don't you ever miss one of these little get-togethers. Promise me? All right. You know what we're going to do now? We're going to run with our hands and our feet, just easy, just like this. Begin. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two. All right, a little faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Slow, slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And rest. That's it. Hey, you know what we forgot to do today? Some stretches to the side. Spread your feet apart. Now put your hands together like this and go over this way, then this way. Begin. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Arms up higher. Three, and rest. Inhale. Blow it out. Inhale again. Let me hear it. Exhale. That's it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed yourself today. Happy he's been enjoying himself. Look, we're going to have something a little special for you tomorrow. And uh, keep up the good work. A big smile on your face. Remember, old man temptation comes around. You kick him out of the way, and you do the things you know you're supposed to do. And uh, my watch tells me, It's time to leave you. Let's say goodbye. These precious moments just seem to fly now here's my wish for you may the good lord bless and keep you too bye mother bye boys and girls see you tomorrow have fun now bye bye give me a kiss bye bye thank you jack lalane for another inspiring half hour if you appreciate what this dedicated man is doing for your health and figure, then tell a friend about the Jack LaLanne Show, this channel daily. <laughs>